from the tuk tuk to the hotel. <laughs> this is pretty cool. It seems like it only fits two people. Tuk tuk drivers. This is where the rooftop is. This is our room. Cleopatra. We have two beds and we have a shower, stand in shower. And then our bathrooms are out there. Like I said, you can see those pyramids from the room. It's an absolutely beautiful view. We got the AC. Egyptian, I think he said that's Hofru, Hafra, and Honomora, I think. And the big ones are the ones they built for the kings, and then there's like a small pyramid, and that one is for the queens. Of their menu. They have all kinds of places, all kinds of stores. 
there's beautiful furniture stores, lots of kid offerings, a bunch of different stuff. That's the menu again. So Egyptian pounds to dollars is like 18, um, 18 for one US dollar. So this meal right here is pretty cheap. It's like four or five dollars combo meal. By far the biggest mall I've ever been in. This mall is just endless and endless. We went from the food court, walked into some stores, and we're still going around. And this is only the top floor. They even have a lot of a lot of stuff in English. So I learned today that English is the unofficial second language. So there is some people that speak English, or no, there's a lot of stores that have English. And there's even your American favorites, like there's a Hardee's here, you got KFC, McDonald's that you saw earlier, there's Pizza Hut, they even had an American, oh, I almost tripped. They even had an American restaurant. Oh wow, what's that? Wow, it's an indoor, look, it's an indoor spinny ride. You guys see it? It's like another indoor park in here. And this is, Oh, Ski Egypt. Okay, that's what that is. I saw that. I was wondering what that was. I saw it on the sign earlier. Just is an indoor snow park. That is so cool. Wow. It's so unique. You guys, they even have a Chili's off in the distance. Look, it, the mall just keeps going. What is this? I think that's probably like some sit down restaurants down there or something. I see some tables and chairs. Like when I say this mall is endless guys, this mall is completely endless. around the mall it's just absolutely endless like oh I love it oh, you go in there god that's gorgeous right, so this mall even has a grocery store in it and it's very big also. Polka said that this is equivalent, I guess, to our Walmart. But even then, I still think that this is still bigger. Because we came from back there. And we're still walking it. <laughs> oh, look, they even have mattresses. They really have everything in here. So we're just getting a few items because like I said, our luggage um, was delayed. So we can't get it for like another day. So we'll be two days without luggage. So we were just getting some extra clothing items. We had our toiletries. And yeah, so something that I like to do when I go to grocery stores like international, I like to see what different things they have in comparison to what we have. So they have Mentos, they have Trident, they have Halls. But look at how many flavors they have. They have different flavors. Skittles look the same. They have Kit Kats, but they also have the Cookie Crumble Kit Kat. I'm gonna get that. They have all these cool flavors. Hazelnut Crunch. Bunch of stuff. I'm trying to hurry because they're in the line already. But look at all the chocolate options. Like, it's very cool. They even have barbecue flavored Marcy. This escalator, like, it's straight it's just flat like why don't we have this like why do we have escalators that have stairs when you think about it it's pretty cool okay, so we're on it and it's actually kind of hard with the stairs on it first like it's kind of weird to figure out because you're kind of just standing it's your feet. magnetic uh, that's why oh the thing is magnetic this is smart oh so it's magnetic so the cart can't roll back because it's smart they think of everything Right? It is kind of awkward to stand on, but it's better than the stairs. 
So this is the Mall of Egypt and it is currently nighttime here. Like I said, this place is huge. It has a parking garage and we're at the top floor of it right now. We have multiple floors. Yeah, it's very beautiful out. It's not hot at all. Today wasn't really that hot, honestly. Very beautiful out. So our next destination of today is the Cairo Tower. And we're gonna get to the very top. We get to go way up there. <laughs> floor and we walk around to the elevator this is where we entered from oh elevator so from the elevator we went up seven floors and now we're taking the stairs almost up the stairs up Okay, guys, so we made it to the top of the tower, and this is the view. You see everything from up here. That's the Nile River right there. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. We have the soccer field. There's people on the field. You see the traffic. walk all the way around and see different points of Egypt. Right. More of the Nile right there. Four Seasons, wow they have a Four Seasons here. I saw a Novotel somewhere. Novotel. Yeah. We are out of the tower and we took a walk around the corner. So all the vehicles that they have here, they have all kinds of stuff. And we stopped at a little snack stand to get some drinks. Yeah. Quite a good selection. Plus what's over here. Ooh, Twinkies, watch out, car. They even have a cooler for their chocolate. Look, mommy. They have a cooler for the chocolate. That's right. I just want to show you guys this traffic a little up close. People cross the street randomly. There is no following to the street uh, lines. They just kind of do their own thing and it just works somehow. Push the door. This is 
we got to push the out. door. I forgot to push the door. I, I was waiting for it to open. Oh my god. No, no, you open. Oh, we forgot. That's nice. <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. Okay, back down again. <laughs> but yeah, that this is, is elevator. This is day two, and we're going to the the pyramids. And we're gonna ride camels. I can't wait. <laughs> it's pretty hot out here, so we stopped to get some smoothies. We all got mangoes for breakfast. <laughs> but we're gonna get food again later. So. Oh wow, that tastes really good. And it doesn't taste like artificial mango. It tastes like real mango. Like, it's real mango. It's, it's good. It doesn't taste like mango puree, what we have in America. It's very clean, very fresh. Guys, we have made it to the entrance for the pyramids, and you do need your passports to kind of get around there. So in general, when you do go to little tourist attractions, I do suggest bringing your passport whenever you're you know, moving around the country, just in case. Hey guys, we made it to the pyramids of Giza. There's a few security checks before we get up here, and they do take student IDs for discounted pricing. Look what's behind me! It's a pyramid! <laughs> we finally made it, and hopefully I can get some closer videos and pictures, and we actually get to go inside of, I think, one of them, and we get to ride camels in between because they're kind of spaced out, so I can't wait. Something I learned today, you see how that pyramid in the distance is smooth on the top, or smoother? So over time, they actually got these ridges so they weren't initially smooth they were i mean they weren't initially rigid they were smooth so i think that's very cool to know i never knew that so you have to go up the stairs and then the entrance is like midway through <laughs> It's actually kind of slippery a little bit. So we are inside of the pyramid and it's actually very cool out cool in here. Oh wow. I'm crouch. I'm crouching down to go up the stairs. <laughs> it's a steep, it's a steep uh walk. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting darker. My back kind of hurt. <laughs> crouch, crouch, crouch. <laughs> this is pretty cool though. Work out. Push, push. But this is where the mummy used to be. Look how high the ceiling is. And just think, when this was built, we didn't have any technology, no machinery, no real machinery like how we have nowadays, obviously. Just think, they built this by hand. Which is crazy. And my mom and sister, they're sitting over there. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> It's just a box, a, 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 what's it called, concrete box, rock box, I don't know what you call it, whatever material they use. No. <laughs> Mommy says, say what's up if he's in here. <laughs> Edmund, not on your hands and knees. He's gonna have to sanitize his hands. But I was just crouching down. You gotta crouch, crouch, crouch. And then this is the part where you can stand up. 
So crouch side, crouch side. And I'm gonna show you guys my face in a sec because man, you gotta be in some kind of shape to do this. Sweater. We just went up all those stairs, crawled, uh, crouched through the next set, and then crawled through this hallway here. It's a lot of bending, and whew, I'm so tired and sweaty, <laughs> but it was so worth it. That's the horsey. Look at how they kneel. They kneel and they put the back side down. So sweet. Oh. I don't know. Can you ask him if you can grab it? Where do you put this? Come. 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 Get. No, keep it on your neck. I'll take it. Okay, I got it on video. I'll put a video. On the camera. It is going so fast. This is so hard to do. Oh, dear. Fixing his shoe. Yeah. My mom is scared. <laughs> I'm scared too. Wave, Kiki. We got it. Wave, Kiki. Wave, Mama. She's not gonna wait. You wrote it this far, Candace, when you did it? No. Uh -oh. souvenirs and stuff that you could buy a lot of different vendors they also sell water they have cloths different clothing items and <laughs> so we are inside of a temple I'm <laughs> lunch at this place called Sats. This is mine. I got the mozzarella, I think monster sandwich. I ate some of the fries already. But yeah, it has mozzarella sticks on it, cheese, chicken. They got the same thing. And they also have like a really big sandwich. Like really, really big. And I think This whole area that you saw driving in is new apartments that they're building. The whole area is new. So they put in a school, mosque, a whole bunch of different stuff, stores and shops. So most of these are currently still empty. And they're building them because they're trying to free up space in the tourist areas or the living areas that are closest to the tourist areas. So they're kind of making them move to these new built up areas instead.